I've ever been able to see a shuttle launch where the camera was higher in the air than the shuttle is, but that's uh, that's the uh, the position we are in tonight, and we're going to be able to launch, watch this launch from uh, a position uh, just about three miles from the launch pad. But uh, the shuttle, we are told, uh, will light up the entire Atlantic Ocean on the east coast of the United States. And what our viewers should be able to see, if people who have been here before are telling us the truth, is the entire Atlantic Ocean, uh, left and right of your screen, will turn bright red or yellow as it reflects the, uh, the blast of the launch. Let's listen to the final second to the countdown Six. together. Start, four, three, two, one. We have booster ignition and liftoff of the Space Shuttle Endeavor, continuing the union of U.S. and Russian space endeavors. Booster Endeavor, roll program. Roger, roll Endeavor. Houston is now controlling. The roll maneuver is complete. Endeavour is now in a heads-down, wings-level position, headed to a rendezvous with the Mir space station. Thirty seconds into flight, Endeavour now traveling at about 520 miles per hour. Endeavour's engines are now throttling down to 67% of rated thrust. Endeavour is now passing through the area of maximum aerodynamic pressure on the vehicle in the lower atmosphere. Downrange from the Kennedy Space Center, 2.3 miles, traveling at a speed of just about 870 miles per hour. Endeavour Houston, go at throttle up. Roger, go with throttle up. One minute, 19 seconds into the flight, Endeavour's three liquid-fueled engines are now back at full throttle, 104% of rated thrust. Endeavour downrange from the Kennedy Space Center, a distance of about 10 and a half miles, traveling at the speed of about 2,000 miles per hour. Just about seven minutes of powered flight remaining. from our position here on the ground and uh, I mean it is many miles uh, away from us now if, if uh, Larry if your viewers on the East Coast want to step outside the southeastern United States you can probably see this thing much brighter than the brightest star in the sky tonight it uh, that launch was overwhelming to me. I, I've never. Me too. It was. I mean, uh, the, the vantage point that we got of the whole ocean oh, uh, yeah. lighting up. And this is a pretty important mission to NASA. It is the next to the last time they're going to go up to the Russian space station. They're going to drop off astronaut Andy Thomas for the, to be the last American astronaut on Mir, and astronaut Dave Wolf, who's been up there for the past uh, four and a half months, is going to get to come home to his family and friends. But looks like a beautiful launch. Looks like the uh, shuttle is well on its way to going into orbit uh, around the Earth. Uh, it'll be in orbit in uh, just a couple more minutes, Larry. Thanks. Great job, John. Isn't that exciting? I think that may have been the most exciting shot I've seen with the leaving at night.